You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, YNR fans. It is Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I want y'all to think about something with me today. Is Young and the Restless about to pair Adam Newman with Phyllis Summers? What do you think? There's some reasons that I feel a little vibe happening, kind of starting on the Tuesday, August 1st episode that I want you guys to look out for and tell me what you think. Because on Tuesday's YNR, we have Phyllis Summers stopping by to see Adam Newman at his new place. I don't think it's at the ranch. It looks like an apartment. I don't know if he's, I don't think it's his penthouse. We'll have to see when we see more of it on Tuesday. But she brings him a cactus and makes a joke about it being prickly and hard to kill. Kind of like her, kind of like him, really. They both survived death more than once, right? And she talks to him about the job and she asks him a favor. And then some stuff unfolds that has me really thinking, are they finally going to put Adam with Phyllis? And would that be interesting? I kind of think it would. We're going to dig in and talk about the reasons why we think this is happening. But if you haven't already, we'd love it if you click subscribe so you don't miss any of our wine, our updates. So Phyllis has agreed to take this job as the head of IT for this new name to be determined company that Adam and Nicholas and Sharon are running. And of course, she knows that Nick isn't going to be too happy to see her there, but she's so desperate for this favor. She even offers Adam to work for six months with no salary if he will help her. And initially, Adam is just not interested in any kind of scheme or thing that she has got cooking up. He is trying to be good. But then he kind of realizes that this is sort of a matter, not really of life and death, but of freedom or life behind bars for Phyllis. And as they continue talking, he realizes that Tucker has her over a barrel. And so it looks like Adam is actually going to help her. He is no fan of Tucker McCall. So that is in her favor. And he doesn't want to see her go to prison. I mean, he knows he's, you know, done worse things too. So in this scene, you guys watch, look and see, is this laying the groundwork for a new love interest for Adam? Right now, Sally Spectra is still with Nick Newman, even though she wouldn't admit to Adam whether she loves Nick or not. She called it affection. I feel like at least for now, she's going to stick with Nick, you know, because even though she still has feelings for Adam, she also still recognizes the kind of the damage that Adam did in her life and that they weren't always a good influence on each other. And if she is going to stick with Nick, Adam needs love in his life. And Sharon right now is seeing Chance Chancellor. Of course, he keeps having these kind of run-ins and chats with Summer Newman, but we'll see how that goes because right now Sharon and Chance are together. So Phyllis and Adam would at least be a fresh pairing. They've never dated. They've never had a fling. They've never hit the sheets, but they kind of vibed when Mark Grossman first debuted in the role of Adam. That was when he was like the spider from Vegas. And back then, what it felt like to me, honestly, was that they were chemistry testing him on screen with several different actors because they had Mark Grossman paired in scenes with Michelle Stafford as Phyllis and then with Sharon Case as Sharon. And then finally, again, with Melissa Claire Egan as Chelsea. And after one night with Sharon and talking about getting serious kind of fast, then she was like, no, this is not a good idea. And they put him with Chelsea at least for a while. And then, you know, when Sally came over, that's when they started that. And that was after Chelsea had like tried to frame him. But they definitely were kind of doing some chemistry testing with him with Phyllis and Sharon and Chelsea. And then, of course, Sally comes along. But Phyllis and Adam, to me, had a vibe back then because I was wondering back then, are they actually going to do this? And they could make a great couple for many, many reasons. I have five reasons, actually, why they would make a great couple. First of all, Phyllis and Adam are both black sheep. He has drugged his dad, gaslit his stepmother, and run down a kid. Phyllis has lied, schemed, faked her death, and ran down a man with her car while aiming for a woman. So that's the first reason. They're both black sheep with these shady histories, you know. So the second thing is, because of all that, they would not judge each other. Phyllis has never shunned Adam for his misdeeds, and he is probably one of the very few people in Genoa City who doesn't care that she faked her death. It didn't impact him. He had no skin in that game, and he's not one. Like, Victor's upset about it on behalf of Summer, but for Adam, it's like, pfft. 
not my problem, right? All right, the third reason I think Fatum, Phyllis plus Adam, could be a thing is that, so Phyllis has been with Nick, she has a kid with him, and you know how Adam and Nick like to overlap and pursue the same women, Sharon, Chelsea, Sally, Sage, etc. So it feels like Adam should at least give Phyllis a test drive so he can, you know, check that doing this ex of Nick's off his to-do list. I think that's a good reason is just because Nick's been there and done that and has the t-shirt a couple of times. All right. The fourth reason that I think it'd be a lot of fun if Adam and Phyllis dated is because it would royally chap Victor Newman and both Adam and Phyllis would definitely enjoy irritating the mustache, especially since he just threatened Phyllis the other day and is like, I'm going to make you pay, blah, blah, blah. Victor didn't like Adam dating Sally, but that would be small potatoes in Victor's eyes to Adam dating Phyllis after what she just did. It would chap him raw, and that would be amazing to watch. All right, we're going to share our fifth and final reason that we think Phyllis and Adam might be a next couple coming on Y&R in one second. If you haven't, though, please reach down, click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our Y&R updates. If you're enjoying this, click us a like and definitely leave us comments. We read all your comments. We don't always have time to respond to all of them, but we read every single one of them and we appreciate them and we appreciate our listeners. Thanks for listening. All right. Our fifth and final reason that we think Fatim could be a thing is that both Phyllis and Adam have to be hard up for some loving right about now. So I, thinking back, I don't think that Phyllis has had a man in her bed since Jack Abbott dumped her not long before Diane came back to life and they found her in California. Adam's not gotten lucky since his last night with Sally when she got pregnant with the baby, of course, that she then lost. So both Phyllis and Adam probably need an emotional and physical outlet, some kind of release right about now. And I don't see them honestly with any long-term potential if the show even decides to go there. This is an if. I'm not saying it's a spoiler. I'm saying it's a what if. If Weinar went there with Phyllis and Adam, I don't see them as a happily ever after couple, as an end game couple. I see them as a fling of we're not really friends, but we'll enjoy the benefits kind of arrangement. And I think it could be a lot of fun to see them interact. What do you guys think? Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 